What I want to show you today is what's over there is a lick. You've seen that before, and that's where the cattle come in and they work this lick. And we've got them scattered all over the ranch. And what I want to show you is what's known as litter. Now what happens is when you get a bunch of cows coming in, you can tell by the cow pies, they kind of congregate and then they wait their turn to go to the lick or however it works. But all this stuff on the ground, that's litter. That's one of the best things there is in the, on the desert. So when it does rain, it holds the moisture better. And uh, it makes a makes a good sponge. And as it, of course, it goes into compost. But what I'm getting at is the cattle beat it down. They take this old dead part of this. And they knock all the branches down. That gives us the litter on the ground, which opens the brush for more sunlight. And it's just a beautiful cycle that the cattle do. Since we ran and killed all the buffalo, this is what we got to do now. But I'm going to show you after a bit how the grazing works for cattle versus sheep. And uh, we'll show you in a little bit when we go out and make a circle. Okay, folks, what we're looking at here now is two things. This is the first thing I want to tell you. If anybody's worked at Marie Calendars, you know everything about pie. So I want to share with you about cow pies. This here If you look down on the ground, you'll see cattle over there as opposed to this is a genuine straight up cow pie. That was prior to them transitioning their gut. This is with their gut correct. The consistency of cake batter is about what you like to see in manure. Now everybody lives up north knows in the dead of winter it, it's just like hockey pucks and it freezes and then you cuss in the rest of the winter but that's what we want to see so it tells me between that lick and the grass they're back on the payroll. Now the bad news is we're going to have to start feeding, but what you're looking at here is called the herd effect, and that means a cow is trying to stomp down and walking through here with their calves, and they're breaking down these branches, and what it does is it allows them to get to that grass up underneath the bush, and you don't see any because they, they got it out. Now three weeks ago there was a bunch of dry feed there, so that's the herd effect, and it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. When you break that down, you'll see it mushroom and open up. That's going to get more sunlight in there, and that plant's going to do better. It's like splitting it. So what we're going to do is we're going to head out about a half a mile from here because ranching, everybody knows the classic shot of you see a windmill, and then you see a water tank, and then you see dirt, then you see dirt, then you see brush, then you see grass. And that distance depends on the amount of cattle and what your range conditions are. And that's just what happens. They camp on the water. So that's one reason we move the licks around. The water's in the creek. There's nothing we can do about that. But the licks here, we can move and they'll utilize the ground. And then they'll leave it with all this litter and manure. And it'll help the, help the soil come back whenever we do actually get enough moisture to get rain. Now, we got a good rain, but... It's just a start. Of course, ranchers are always whining about the market and the weather. So anyway, we're going to head up country and I'll show you the difference. Just remember what you're seeing there. Thank you. Look at that beautiful little bird nest here. Oh, wow. Really cool. Yeah.
we didn't even make it that far. Dev will show you where the lick is in the truck. You can kind of see the distance. It's not very far at all. So where I'm standing, if you're up in the air, this would be like a, an arc. And from here back to the lick, they cleaned it all up. From here that direction, there's still feed. You can see it here on the ground. Now here's the trivia about this feed. This feed that I told you about is utilized by the cow. And because of that lick, they can make something out of it. Uh, since it's a family show, I can tell you, you can make chicken salad out of chicken manure if you know how to do it. Now the other thing I want you to notice is that this brush can be pushed. See me pushing it? That's what a cow can do. She can push that brush and reach in here with her tongue. Here, she can't push. She's grazed it and she broke this off and she's grazed it all the way to here before this brush was hitting her in the eyes. So a cow can only go so far in on sagebrush. And just for the sake of conversation, that's why sheep and cattle can complement each other. You run a band of sheep through here, their head is shaped like a V. A cow's head shaped like a shovel. She reaches in with her tongue and pulls it back, but if it's hitting her in the eye, she'll quit you. A sheep can walk right up with that wedge head and reach under there and grab that grass, no problem. You know, and they had range wars over it. Well, you gotta manage the cattle, you gotta manage the sheep. That's how simple it is. But we got some litter here, but not as much as it is the closer you get to that lick. So there's the story right there about grazing on the desert. Kids are on the move over there on the side of the hill. Okay. Well, folks, I wanted to share something with you. Deb's going to pan the camera in a minute, but what happened was we got an inch of rain, and uh, should, uh, I think you might be able to still see it up in the mountains on top behind us to the south. There's snow on top of the mountain. But if you look down at the ground here, you'll see where the creek goes underground. And where the dog is over there, it's dry. Well, a week ago, a week ago, the creek went underground that way. It was that way another hundred and some yards. So it just, I guess what we're trying to do is share with you how water works. And my friends on the Antone Ranch in Oregon, who incidentally have probably the nicest ranch in the country, this is what I was talking about of not letting water run, make it walk. And I, we didn't put this, this is all natural. Them trees fell down and now it's slowing that water down. Of course it's going underground because of the sand, but what the point is, is that it makes the water walk instead of run out of the country. And this dead tree right here, the guy could just take it and roll it off the bank and let it lay there. And that'll catch sediment and sand and slow the water down too. So there's a th lot of things you can get done with just what's around you. And uh, these girls on your left, they're just coming into water. They've been out grazing since daylight and what'll happen historically wherever I've worked around. They'll come in and water and then they'll lay down about 11 o'clock and uh, start ruminating. So this is kind of the way we want the cattle to be and we want the dog to be, where the cattle aren't intimidated by us here. Mm -hmm.